Hey guys, so due to the content of this video being me at work, I won't be talking much in the actual video. So this, I guess, is your introduction to a day in my life as an English teacher in Japan. Most of this is pretty self-explanatory, but there are a few small things I want to share with you guys as we go along, so voiceover it is. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below, but essentially all you need to know to start is that I walk to the train station every morning and take a bus every Tuesday and Thursday. My Tuesdays and Thursdays, I go to my visiting school, which is a little bit more unorthodox, and I thought would be more interesting to share as my base school, the school I go to on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, is what I would consider a fairly standard or expected ALT high school experience, if there is such a thing. I also start school later in the day on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so Vincent and I have enough time to stop by the bakery and get something to eat before I head off. Visiting school is actually on a mountaintop and there is only one bus in the morning that goes up and one bus in the evening that goes down. So if I don't catch either one, I'm kind of screwed. It also means if I want to stock up on snacks that I do so before I get on the bus. I forgot I actually didn't order a lunch today at work, so in order to eat, I'm picking up a curry cup ramen. So, and some coffee, not for now, but for later because halfway through the day, I want some coffee. For those who might ask, I didn't film this on a different day, but it wasn't snowing in the town that my other school is in. It either melted or I missed it, so unfortunately there are no snowy school experience moments. Uh, but it snows pretty often here, so maybe we'll get some pictures or videos on Instagram. Once at school, I have to switch into my work shoes instead of my outdoor shoes, which I take off in the giant Gengkon entranceway of the school. Then, thanks to the good old Rona, I check my temperature and get to work at my desk. Right now, I'm working on writing return letters to students whose schedules conflict with mine on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but they still want to get some English experience in.
obvious reasons, I can't show you the school's students or me really in session, but even in winter, I really love this campus and my classes that I've gotten to join. I do get to teach English, but because of the small student population, I get to join in other classes too, such as tea ceremony, which is really fun, science class and on my first day of school the PE teachers actually invited me to have lunch with them and I've been having lunch with them ever since. It's always a lot of fun and I look forward to it just about every day of the week. <gasps> Which also means I occasionally join gym class even though I'm terrible at it. Then, when I'm not in the PE room, it won't surprise a lot of you where I end up. The librarian is super nice. She also is really interested in having a English section because we have a lot of students here who are either learning English or they already speak English, but they don't have any English books to read. So I actually am going to be putting together a little uh, wish list for her uh, for books that I want to recommend the students or books that uh, she already has but would like the English version of. I'll actually put the wish list down below in case you would like to donate to this little library, but slowly over time I'd like to build up uh, her English speaking section as well as just getting books I recommend, whether they be Japanese or English, because I just want to recommend people books. That's why I have a booktube channel, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I am so glad that I have created a relationship with the librarian. She's really patient with my Japanese and has also picked up a few English phrases too, just so she can have some basic communication with me. By the time I get home, it's dinner, and luckily there's often food carts in the main square of our town, uh, so Vincent and I will pick something up to eat and either take it home or eat it there. Or if there are no food carts, he already has food waiting, which is really nice of him. At this point, I'm dead tired and either watch a show with Vincent, read a book, or whittle away at editing this video or some other video that I'm supposed to post. And then actually by 8.30, I'm kind of down for the count and that's it. That's the end of my day. Sorry if it's boring, but I mean, it's honest and uh, I guess I'll just thank you for watching and leave it there. So see you next time. Bye.